Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. And from the Sundance Shorts uh, section one, the movie is Saturday. I'm very excited to talk about it because it's all about uh, the game of football. I have Mike Forshaw, who's the writer director, Jessica Levick, who is the producer. Welcome to the show, both of you. Hey, Hi. thank you for having us. Absolutely thrilled to have you guys here. This. For I know in England the the level and of uh, what should we say passion about this mm -hmm. moment in time is significant. It is, uh, and you mentioned this a moment ago. It, it's sort of a John F. Kennedy moment for you guys. Tell me what Saturday is all about and how it has that level of uh, I don't know awareness uh, among the people. You know, still to this yeah. day. Um, so basically, for those who don't know, um, it's about the Hillsborough Stadium disaster. Uh, which is the biggest sporting disaster in British history, uh, where 96 men, women and children uh, went to a football match and uh, basically uh, didn't come home. Wow. Uh, the reason why I, it's so important to me is because it involved my home team, Liverpool. Um, and basically, when the news started filtering through about the disaster, um, everyone remembers where they were. I, I want to talk about your moment for that because you, you shared that with me a few minutes ago and I, I, I really got a lot of that, the, the feeling of what you were going through at that moment. So tell us about that again. Yeah, yeah. So basically I was a kid. I was, um, I was eight years old. i have been playing football with my friends in the local park. I uh, came back and one of my cousins uh, was in my house um, uh, being consoled by my dad. Uh, I'm from Northern England, so I, I men don't show their emotions. Right, you never see that. Never. Um, and basically, I was really struck by this image because it was the first time I'd ever seen a man cry. Wow. Um, turns out my cousin um, had a ticket to go to Hillsborough. Um, he gave that ticket to his friend, and his friend was one of the 96 people who never came home. Wow. Let's talk about what happened. Uh, this was a, a collapse uh, at the stadium and uh, tragic, yeah. uh, no doubt. How did it happen? What, what took place? Uh, so basically, uh, it was an FA Cup semi-final, basically the second biggest game in British football at that time. Um, and it's on a neutral ground. Uh, so Liverpool fans and Nottingham Forest fans. There was about 24,000 Liverpool fans who were basically directed to one end of the ground. It was meant to hold 10,000 capacity. Mm -hmm. And basically, because they weren't properly organized and controlled, uh, there ends up being like 15,000 trying to get into one space. Wow. The people at the back didn't know what was happening to the people at the front. And as they tried to come in, um, there was nowhere for these people to go because they were basically penned in. They were hemmed right. in. Mm. At the time, they had big fences along the front of all of the um, pitch side. Wow. So they were really pushed up against the fence. Just basically. smashed. Couldn't get yeah. out, yeah. And people from the, the rungs above were p trying to pull people up when they could see what was happening underneath. They were pulling people out, oh my. out to safety. So there's these incredibly emotional scenes of people being lifted up to safety from the back. But unfortunately, yeah, not everybody It wasn't get quick enough and it was too late before yeah. people realized what was happening. No big failings, basically, and in the way that it was managed. I, I, yeah, I can imagine how this would be so emotional for so many people because the passion that happens in football in England I don't know that it's equaled almost anywhere. It is, it is really uh, something, isn't it? Yeah. Can you tell? Can you kind of explain to us what football is all about in England? <laughs> um, it's well, it's tribal, in a sense. It's, it's your identity. It's where you're from. I mean, I'm fortunate. I'm from Liverpool, and Liverpool happens to be one of the most successful teams in England right. ever. Um, and wherever I go. And have been consistently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, wherever I go, it's like <laughs> a, it's the Beatles or it's Liverpool football, <laughs> right? Uh, and that, it's, well, it's, it's a recognisable name throughout the world. And yeah. I'm fiercely proud of the fact that I'm from Liverpool. And, and my children will be Liverpool supporters. My dad That's was right. a Liverpool supporter. My granddad was. There's a Liverpool little choice. Supporter. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we were saying maybe there's a thing about because the UK is relatively small. You can drive to your away games. Or right. you can get the train to your away games and actually see your your. Yeah. And it's a fairly equal support. share at most games. Yeah, it, yeah. It, So it's a very lively thing. Yeah. But this struck a chord with both teams. There's no doubt, and the fans of both were very concerned. I, I know, obviously for the Liverpool fans certainly, but it, the the other fans were just as affected. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, they were there. They witnessed it, um, and they saw what happened. Mm -hmm. And eventually, uh, now everyone in the UK is beginning to realise wow. that this is a a completely avoidable and unnecessary tragedy. 
So we need to talk about the film part of this. So you decided with all of that to, to go to the, uh, the measure of making a film of this, which must have been quite an undertaking. So tell me about that process and where uh, you evolved to with the short. Yeah. Uh, so as I said, that kind of image of seeing this young man crying has always kind of stuck with me. Right. Um, and although uh, in the UK people are aware uh, that 96 people died, that's, a, you know, that's, that's a, an important part of Hillsborough. But as I said, what people don't realize is that there were 24,000 fans who went to that game. Um, and at that time, in 1989, uh, there were no mobile phones. Yeah. And so basically, there were people back home in Liverpool and in England who basically thought that their loved ones uh, were one of the victims. And right. so this idea of people waiting for this phone call to come back. Um, or waiting for them to come back in the house. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, it would have been hours cases. and hours. It was, yeah. I thought it was a great idea to try and tell people it wasn't just about 96 people who died. There was also these families that were affected, the survivors that were affected and are still affected today. Wow. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you have a lot of passion behind this film. Uh, what was it like to produce with this writer and director? Uh, yeah, amazing. I um, wasn't ever going to make any more short films. I was trying to concentrate on my features. <laughs> you on brought many, features. haven't you, yeah, over the years? Yeah, I've made a few. And yes. uh, I was trying to concentrate on my features. And um, Mike contacted me. He had won um, a, an award at a pitching um, conference for short films and approached me with a script and I read it and I think it's probably the first time I've ever not really had any notes on a script. I didn't really say oh. anything, did I? I kind yeah, of was yeah. like, actually, I think we need to make this. Um, there was additional um, bits of information which was that so the um, Hillsborough um, situation is still going on. There's an inquest happening right now in the UK um, and at the point when we decided to make this film they had just recently overturned the accidental ve death verdict which had been um, given by previous inquests. So uh, the justice for the 96 who died is still very much uh, wow. in the public consciousness. It's happening right now hopefully. Like the the yeah. process of trying to get the justice for these Amazing. people. And this, uh, this thing of it being very con contemporary right now is in the news just sort of the week before I read the script for example. Wow. In spite of it being 25 years ago really that really hit home to me yeah. how that is still such an important story to tell. Um, and we kind of um, got together and talked about it and I thought it seemed like a really good um, uh, way of um, raising money would be to go to Kickstarter. So we raised our um, finance for the film through Kickstarter because it felt that, that it would be something that would be very um, a great story to reach communities and sure. we really bring some people together. Exactly. And we really wanted to be making a film that spoke to people. That was That's my tremendous. my main concern was that the families were on board and knew uh, what we were making and sort of supported the film and that everything. Is tremendous. If we were telling a story that they believed in and that was the important part wow. for us. Mike, you've, you've got some, uh, I know, I, I, I can sense even with that, there's some uh, some real strong feelings right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, this with involving the fans in that way. Yeah, well, as Jessica kind of mentioned, so there's this injustice of, of the fact that these just supporters went to watch a game of sports and then they didn't come home. But then the authorities that were in control on that day basically instead accepted the blame for their mismanagement, yeah. blamed the fans. And there basically was uh, this, this blame kind of lasted for about 25 years. Unreal. Yeah. Well, we have the trailer. I think we had to look at it real quick. Uh, yeah. We have just enough time to see it. So let's show the trailer for the movie Saturday.
good. I will say I can't wait to see the film. So where do I go? When do I get to see it? Uh, it premieres tonight at 8.30 p.m. in the Shorts Program 1 Egyptian wow. Theatre. And then we've got three more screenings. There's um, one in Salt Lake City, one at the Library Theatre, and one at the um, Prospector Theatre. Wow, what an important part of Sundance you get to be, premiere in the Shorts category on the first day yeah. up at the Egyptian Theatre. Yeah. It doesn't get more Sundance than that. This is what people are saying. <laughs> exciting, yeah. exciting. Congratulations on the film. Thank I'm you. so excited to see it. Mike Forshaw, Jessica Levick, thank, Levin, you, thank so you guys much. so very much for being here. The movie is Saturday. You have plenty of opportunity to see it in the shorts category. And as I say, that's probably the most fun to go to because you see a wide variety of great films just like this. All right, when we come back, we're going to be doing our Man on the Street segment. That happens right after this.